Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Sir Germany, and in this video, I'm going to give you all my successful action to sell online courses. I have been selling very successfully online courses for nine years now in French and in English, and there are a few things that really worked out for me, and I'm going to share all my secret in this video, so stay tuned. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Sir Germany. I'm a French photographer living in Los Angeles, right now traveling through Paris. And I've been selling online courses for nine years. I'm going to reveal you all my best secrets. Whatever you do in life, you know, if you think you've got something that you can share with somebody else and help somebody else and make money with it in the same process, it's great. As a fine art photographer, being able to sell online courses has financed all my travels, has enabled me to really live and do what I really love in life, which is to take photos. It has really helped me all my career as a fine art photographer. I've always made good money with my uh, photos in galleries and my books, but being able to sell online courses took my income to a whole new level. It gave me the resources to be able to travel all over the world and to really just leave of my passion. And I believe there's a lot of photographers out there or anything or anybody that has something to share that could make money online because it's not just about making money, it's about being able to help other people. If you have a skill, if you think you can help somebody else, then stay tuned. I'm gonna give you some real stable data that really worked well for me. So, stable data number one, are you an expert? What I mean by that is, I know a lot of people don't wanna do online courses because they haven't gone to university or they are not an expert, they didn't get a diploma in this subject, so they feel that they are not legit to be able to teach. That is not true. Russell Bosson in his book called Expert Secrets says that an expert is somebody who is just a few steps away from somebody else. And I truly believe that. I'll give you a very simple example. Back about two years ago, I've had very, very strong stomach issues. When I moved to the USA, my stomach got stuck in the, on my, with my diaphragm and I spent thousands of dollars going to hospitals or going to various doctors trying to fix my stomach, what we call a, a urethral hernia. And, um, and it was not being fixed. I would go to a doctor, spend about 70 to $80 to get a treatment. And you know, like two hours later, my stomach was back up there on my diaphragm, it was hurting again. One day I discovered this lady called pamfox.org. She has an amazing website that she did with Kajabi, which I will talk more in this video because I think it's awesome to sell online courses. And she, I think I bought her course for $60. It was a one hour course where you could do like a sort of self massage to get your stomach to go down and relieve from a uterine hernia. In everything, in, in the thousands of dollars I had spent, this was the most effective treatment I ever done. I'm not recommending it, I'm not a doctor, I'm just saying, as somebody who suffered from this, this really helped me. And she just found this by herself, she did a very basic videos and she started selling it online. Now, it was so effective that I've, I gave it to my doctor, who's been giving and selling this around to other of his patients. You know, so an expert is just somebody who has some kind of skill some kind of knowledge that he can share with others and get money for. Because you didn't go to the university or you don't have some high diploma, don't think you're not legit to sell or do online courses. If you think you have something to share, do it. The next step is teach using gradients or, you know, easy, a little easy, harder, a little harder, a little harder, a little harder by gradients. When, whatever you want to teach, make sure you start by very, very simple concept first. I studied a video from somebody the other day that said to make a very successful YouTube video, you need to talk to people like they're in the fifth grade, which is roughly 10 or 11 years old. I believe that is true. I always try to explain my concept or find my ideas, like if I was talking to somebody who was like 10 or 11 years old. So maybe that's pushing it a little far, but the idea is you have to explain things by gradient. Start with easy examples, easy exercise, and go into harder ones and harder ones. And because you know a lot about the subject, take into the viewpoint that you're talking to somebody who might know nothing about your subject. So that's very important. Stable data number three, use examples only. What I mean by that is, like for example, I teach photography, I teach Photoshop. I remember back years ago, I bought this book called Adobe in a Classroom. And what it was doing, it was defining Photoshop with all the different menus and what the menus could do, like all the different filters. This was awful for me to learn. I like to do by example, meaning I'm gonna show you how to replace a sky. I'm gonna show you how to erase an element. You take a simple project and you show by example and by example only. Don't go into the theory of things, show by example. Stable data number four, 
use simple words to explain complex concepts. That's what I mean is when I started photography, I remember very well about 15 years ago, I bought a book about photography and the guy started going to like very technical terms about, you know, photons and things you don't need to know. Uh, try to explain technical words with simple common words. Never give words that people won't be able to understand. That is very, very important, very simple. It is a very simple rule. Sometimes it's hard to, to do because you really have to think, okay, how can I explain this very complex concept with simple words? But that's what you got to prepare in advance. Stable data number five, be passionate. Don't have a monotonous voice. I don't know if you've ever listened to a tutorial where the guy talks like, bonjour, in this tutorial, we got, I'm going to explain you how to do this and that, and you click here and then you go there. You know, try to be passionate, try to be interested, try to get your voice to go different, you know, high and low, high and low, you know, to keep interest, keep interest, be passionate because it just makes the viewing of the video so much easier, just like I'm doing now. Six, use screencast softwares as much as you can. Screencasting is amazing to be able to do online courses. Basically what you do is if you are teaching a software, you can just record your screen. I've been using ScreenFlow for many, many years because I'm on a Mac. I think it's amazing. I know there is as a solution for Windows. Uh, check out the link below because I'm gonna put all the links that of the gears and software I'm using in this video, but ScreenFlow is the best. Uh, if what you do cannot be is not a software, you can always do like a PowerPoint or a keynote presentation and you know with a good mic you speak over it and you record your screen while you do your presentation. That works also very, very well. You need to have a great audio. You know, I spend all my time listening to YouTube videos in my car. I don't even watch the screen, I just listen to the audio. I know a lot of people do that, so having a very good audio is important. I have two mic systems I've been using. When I'm on camera, I have a road mic, which is this one here which is really amazing. Uh, the link is below this video. And when I'm doing my screen flow, I have an Audio Technica mic, which I really love. I've tried, I think I've bought eight different Macs over the last 10 years, and this is really my favorite. You just need to put a pop against it because you're really talking to the mic. All the links are below this video, but having good audio is vital and is very easy to do. Once your course is ready, once you, you know, you've done your, your work, you've recorded your course, you're ready to deliver it, you need to have a website to deliver your course. Now, I highly, highly recommended a website called Kajabi. Let me give you a little background on this. I have been using basically a WordPress kind of solution for many, many years. I first, you know, when I, because when you sell your courses, you have to deliver them. So I used to, you know, give like uh, Google Drive links to people that wasn't, that didn't really work really well. Uh, then I built like a whole streaming solution with WordPress, which kind of worked, but it was not that great. I actually was an engineer. We looked at all the different websites out there to deliver courses. And we were hesitating between Teachable and different platform and we came in with Kajabi, and I have been using Kajabi since October, and it has almost doubled my online sales. Kajabi is absolutely amazing. Not only it is a platform for you to deliver your courses, meaning you just upload your videos and your students can follow along, but it has so many marketing tools that go with it, which is incredible. So use Kajabi, they have a special thing called the 28 days uh, launch. The link is right below this video. If you click on that, you get Kajabi for free for 28 days, but it also gives you exactly how you can launch your first course to make your first $1,000. Um, I don't think there is any other technologies out there which is better to sell online courses. I've recommended this to all my friends. We're all using Kajabi. It's the best. Stable data number nine, use Kajabi funnels to sell also your courses. So let's say you take a thousand people and you send them over to your website through you know emailing or social media or whatever or buying ads if you send them to your regular kajabi website where there is different offers you will get a certain conversion rate but if you send them over to a funnel you will get a much better conversion rate i i think i triple my conversion rate when I started using funnel. What is a funnel? A funnel is something that Kajabi does that's included in the offer where you're basically just selling one product at a time. When you give people the different choices on a website, they can get lost. When you use a funnel, you know, you have a video, you're explaining that one product to the person, it just, your conversion rate just explodes because you know, you're giving less choices to the people, you're guiding them. It's like having a salesman to help you buy things. It just converts 
two or three times better. And that's included in the 28 days of launch of Kajabi. Check it out. The link is below the video. It's amazing. You got to take this 28 days challenge. It's going to change your life if you are ready to sell some online courses because not only is it going to show you how to load the courses, how to make it available to your students, but it's also going to show you how to market it and how to get your first customers. And also if you use this link, it helps me uh, you know, to be able to do more free videos. And if you're interested, I will do more free videos. And by the way, guys, I want to take a second. If you can just like this video, it helps me being able to produce more free content for you. you. Just click the like button if you do like this video, and I will do more of this type of content to help you being able to live off your passion and being able to have passive income so you can do what you really love in life. So give a second, like this video. Also, if you can Give me a comment and tell me what you think about the video. If there's anything you would like to know more on this subject or if there are things you want to know in general about photography, post-processing or online courses or marketing. I love to hear your viewpoint. I listen to every single comment. I answer every single comment. And if you really want to help me, share this video. If you can share this video, it makes a whole difference uh, for me and for what I'm trying to do with this kind of videos. All right. Last is just do the 28 days of Kajabi challenge. This 28 days challenge is so brilliant because it takes anybody who doesn't know how to sell these online courses and is going to walk you through everything. As I said, you know, how to load the course, how to make it easy for your students, how to market it, how to make a funnel, how to make your first sales. Um, basically you get 28 days for free and then you start paying Kajabi. But by then anybody, I've had a lot of friends, uh, and family members who've done the 20 days challenge, they were making so much money within the 20 days that it just paid off Kajabi completely. I think the future of education is online. I have so many students coming to me that spend so much money in college telling me they were learning more, uh, you know, in photography using my tutorials over two, three weeks period than like months and months in college. I just read a survey that was done um, on somebody else's website about 3D uh, teaching people going to school or college to learn 3D software and how they learn a lot more using YouTube videos or online courses than, as being, than spending tens or twenty or thousands of dollars on college. This is a revolution guys. Being able to share your knowledge online is just the beginning. So jump on the train, get the 28 days challenge. I can't wait to see what you're going to do with it. And if you're interested into business photography, click here. This is a special playlist with all my business tips on how to sell your photography and how to sell yourself as a photographer. Check it out.